Hey guys, what's up? Jeremy Donson here with TheDrumProfessor.com. Today we're going to be doing Basket Case by Green Day. Really busy, really fun song all the way through. So uh, we're going to get started here at the beginning. And as always, if you have not taken advantage of the free one-on-one -on -one live jam session with me, totally take advantage of it. It's free and we can go over where you're at as a drummer and help you out and help you learn faster. Here we go, from the top. It all keeps adding up I think I'm going to get it up And I'm going to get it up And I'm going to get it up It's not very long, but it's very, very fast. Very, very fast. That's the intro, and then we get into the uh, verse there. Okay, so let's get started from the beginning. Now, there are some hi-hat chicks prior to this and uh, a drag here and there. That's fairly simple to hear in the music what to do. We're going to start with the juicy stuff, the challenging uh, fills that are ahead. Okay, so at the beginning, we're going to crash with the bass drum. Once we do that, we do six snares. Let's check it out. Starting at about 32 seconds in the song. It all keeps adding up. I think it up. Alright, so the beginning. Once you do the six snares, you do crash crash. If you only have one crash symbol, just crash on the one. Otherwise, do uh, two different crashes on that section. Okay, once you do those two, you go snare crash. All crashes are with the bass drum, every single one. Then four snare drums, so a lot slower. Now, once you do the four, you're going to do high tom and bass drum together. So we're doing high tom and bass drum and then two snares. So tom and a tom and a. Putting it together that far. One more time. Okay, that is the intro into it. Now let's go into the short beat that we do here. So. So we're gonna go crash with the bass. Three bases in a row. Now, if you have a hard time doing those three bases in a row, do two, right? So if it's too hard for you, then just go bass and snare and bass bass, but work towards doing the three. You want to do the three, but you can do two at first until you get used to that. Okay, so after the three bases, you're going to go snare crash. So snare crash and snare crash and. Now, in all this that we're doing, your hi hat never changes. So after the crash, and bass snare and is next. And bass. Time. 
Now, after that last and there, we do base, base, snare, base, crash. And as always, you crash with the bass here. All you do is you speed it up. All right, so we have that down now. Let's do that with the music real quick. And then we'll count how long to rest before we do the next fill. Here we go. 33 seconds. It all keeps adding up. I think I'm gonna Okay, so when you crash, that starts your counting. You're gonna do a 12 count rest and then come in. Let's listen and play. Alright, now this fill is interesting. Um, there's a common mistake with many of my students that they will do this. They'll just go snare bass, snare bass, snare bass, snare bass, which it basically is, but the rhythm's a little different. You don't want to just do it evenly the entire time. In other words, you don't want to do this. You gotta, it's, it's a little off rhythm there. It's not just straight one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and right it's a little different so you're gonna go it's very subtle but it's there so in short just to go over what you do you hit the snare and floor tom together and then your bass drum shortly after it so you do it twice now when you when you do the bass you gotta do the prep stroke there and if you watch some of my, some of my other videos you know what I mean about a prep stroke if not, then schedule a, we can schedule a live session. I can go over a prep stroke with you. No problem, just let me know. But the prep stroke means basically that when your hands come down, your foot goes up at the same time. If you struggle with that and it sounds more like this, and it's not even, which is pretty common, right? Um, then it's because your prep stroke is not there or it's not on time. Everything is timing. That's what we do. We're drummers. We don't just hit stuff with sticks. Well, we do, but we do it on time. So, um, okay, so when your hands come down, you gotta raise your beater at the same time. So this is coming down, your beater is coming up. If you hit the snare and floor and your beater is not up all the way, it will be wrong. So make sure it's up. So it's gonna go that, 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 that. have to you're gonna have to just play around with the rhythm to get the timing right it's gonna take a little bit of practice it maybe you'll get it right away but chances are it's gonna take just a little bit of fine-tuning to get it perfectly with the music so once you do the snare bass snare bass you do it twice very 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 short space in between and then you go snare bass crash so that's going to go snare and floor tom bass by itself crash with the bass drum okay so now putting just that with music and then the whole thing with music here we go Starting around 34 seconds. It all keeps adding up. I think I'm gonna get it up. And 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 I'm gonna get it up. Um, if you can do that, you can do much of the song with no problem because that's a pretty challenging part there. 
So uh, if you can do that, you should really be confident that you can uh, definitely skill-wise do the remainder of the song. There are some more challenging parts, don't get me wrong. It's not like everything else is cake. I'm not saying that. But, um, but it is manageable for sure. So all you got to do is just put in the practice. And remember, it's not practice makes perfect. It's perfect practice makes perfect. Uh, meaning if you practice something incorrectly, like if you practice that rhythm wrong, it's going to take you three times longer to go over and correct that rather than you being shown how to do it correct the first time and then building on that. So um, that's really the importance of doing a live video session just to make sure that you're doing it right. Uh, but anyways, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy this song. And um, have a great time with it. Have fun. Stay awesome. And rock on. Later, guys.